Yeah, there was probably like that over there at one time, but enough uh, soil accumulated to support trees. So Jim, is there a reason why this area has more of these pits or it's textured the way that it is? Uh, it, it's, it may well be that a geologist could uh, give you a, a really elegant explanation for that. <laughs> um, well, these are deep, but yet there's no, there's a little soil starting there. Yeah. I guess there's more soil there because it, it, soil if there's around. a rim all the way around, it, it's able to hold the water and oh, therefore have the soil. But if there's no rim, a really heavy rain can help wash a lot of the, whatever soil is there out. But if it's got a rim all around, a little bit can collect, and eventually, you know, diamorpha is starting to grow there. In a thousand years, enough dead diamorpha remains and enough stuff washing in. It might look, I don't know, <laughs> more like that in a thousand years. I don't know. Or that one. Yeah. I don't have optimi a lot of optimism for this pine tree. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Sorry, pine tree, you're going to die. Yeah. It's a, it's a pioneer. Telltale browning of the needles already. It, 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 it got its start two or three years ago, maybe a little more than that. But it's had relatively mild summers the last three years. I'm and sure there's a crack there. It's amazing how much soil there is in here. And it's able to get its roots up under the lip of that crack there, I think. Yeah. But there's not enough soil for it to make it long term. Well, this rock, as I said, was formed miles below the Earth's surface and cooled while it was under tremendous pressure from the weight of miles of rock above it. And according to the geologists, now that all of that stuff has been removed from on top of it, it is still rebounding from that pressure and still expanding ever so slightly because it doesn't have that weight on it anymore. And so it's a very, very, very minute thing, but it is slightly expanding, kind of like a big loaf of granite, which means it, it's all sort of expanding out radially. And it's thought that that's one reason why these tend to have a near circular form because these lines of force that are weakening the rock are coming, are, are radiating out from the center as it expands slightly, like this big loaf. It's hard for me to imagine, but that's what they say. And that has something to do, I guess, with why it's particularly prominent here. There are some linear features that look kind of and as the rock expands after the weight has been removed from the top of it, it can crack in these long lines called joints. And uh, that, since the rock's already been weakened there, that's a place where more, more water can collect. And when it freezes and thaws in the winter, it, it can help flick off, break off more flecks of rock. So I, I think the overall weakness